Hi guys, welcome to Last Minute Learning. Today the topic which we are going to study is proximity measures of nominal attributes. As you might already remember that what are nominal attributes. We also call these as categorical attributes and uh, two nominal attributes we uh, remember that these are related to names, things and so on. Now let's start our topic. As you can see that uh, we have written D, I, comma J. This shows us that we have to measure the difference between I and J. And the formula to measure nominal attribute is P minus M divided by P. What is P? P is the total number of attributes and M is number of matches in the types which are given to us. Now there is an example. We have been given four IDs, type 1 and type 2. How we will solve this example? We have to measure the dissimilarity between each each of these. Firstly, we have to measure d two comma one, which means we have to measure the difference between two comma one. We can see the formula. There are total number of attributes are one and two, as there are two types. We will write two, then minus. Then we will see that how many similarities are there in in just these two this and this okay we can see that a and b are not same 10 and 30 are not same which means that there is no similarity in this so we will minus 0 from it as there are no matches in it okay p minus m total number of attributes 2 2 minus similarities in uh, these two are 0 will minus 0 and then divided by total number of attributes which means 2 the answer is 1 in the same way we will find the second one 3 d 3 comma 1 difference between 3 and 1 okay now this is the 3 this is 1 okay now there are p is equals to number of attributes which are the same 2 minus what are the number of matches in this and this 10 and 10 yes which means one match occurred second is a and a which means another match occurred which means two two which means two matches are there which shows us that after applying the formula we get the answer zero in the same way we will do the remaining uh, parts okay then what we will do is that we will get a matrix in this form this similarity matrix as we know that there here is no uh, matrix as this matrix would be refre reflecting the same as over here and it is diagonal diagonally zero as we know that there can no there cannot be any difference between uh, d 1 comma 1 d 2 comma 2 d 3 comma 3 and so on so this is 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 and 4 comma 4 so its diagonal values are 0 i hope you like my video kindly like share and subscribe my page uh, until next time goodbye